Well, let's welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be covering the Welcome Home ARG. It's been a while since we've covered this because the website's actually been down for maintenance or something like that, but it's recently just been put back up and there are some new secrets, some new lore to the, towards the Welcome Home show. And uh, hopefully we're gonna learn some more stuff today. So just a friendly reminder of what the show's about. I thought we could just go to the clownillustration.com about Welcome Home. And we're just gonna read this quick one here. So Welcome Home is an experimental multimedia horror project that focuses on unraveling the mystery surrounding a beloved 1970s children's television show. You are to accompany a colourful cal calvacade of puppets as their beloved neighbourhood begins to skew and distort into a nightmarish memory that they can barely recall. Through illustrated books, recordings and an array of old merchandise, you will find what dwells within this colourful home. Beneath its beautiful carpets, behind its gorgeous wallpaper, and deep within its breathing crevices. Fortunately, you have someone to keep you company and hold your hand as you walk down a path now long forgotten. You may call Welcome Home whatever you like, but I'll call it home. That is what it's about. And in the last videos, if you haven't seen them already, I, I definitely recommend you go see them or check out the website for yourself. But we go through uh, the characters and then some of the secrets that are hidden within the website. It does look very playful, very colorful, all that, all that jazz. But you soon realize there's something strange going on and it's something to do with a house here. And there's some kind of portal underneath the house that leads somewhere. And there's been like uh, recordings of Wally singing to the house and it's all a little bit strange for sure. Uh, so I definitely recommend you guys going back if you can't really remember. I, I'm, I'm kind of struggling to remember most of the details but I remember bits and bobs that will help me along the way here. So what I'm doing is I'm using my old video as reference just to see what's new and straight away the one thing that pops out is that Wow, it's the website updates, obviously. We can read this. But there's um, media, merchandise, the Playfellow exhibition, stickers, a lot of new stuff going on here. So, but before this video begins, guys, if you do enjoy this content, why not subscribe? I'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and any help towards that would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, let's just get on with this. The first thing I'm going to be looking at is the website updates. And in order to make sure, okay, there's still these things here, look. In the last update or the last website iteration, there were just random letters poking out of certain words and you'd put them in a certain order and it would take you to like a lost piece of media. Serendipitous salutation, dear neighbor. So much has happened since we've last spoken to you. How could so much support and attention be summed up in a few words? We came to you asking for help like a neighbor in need of a cup of sugar, but you've given us your whole pantry supply. That's saying a lot with nearly 5 million friendly visitors. Our gratitude is immeasurable, and with your help, we are confident we will uncover Welcome Home's whereabouts. As thanks to you, lookers of the lost, we have uncovered an exciting array of findings that are sure to solidify our speculations. We always knew it was real, ever since that first itch in the back of our mind. You need to know too now, don't you? Do you feel it? It's good that you came back. We hope perusing our most recent findings will be a dog one, dog on good time, Guy speaks like a 1950s TV presenter, but I guess that's that's the whole appeal, isn't it, with Wally? I guess this feels like Wally speaking, as Barnaby would say. Okay, what? Well, that's Barnaby. Remember, neighbor, home is where the heart is, and this house is brimming with love for you. Welcome to the search party, the Welcome Home Restoration Project. So I don't think much is like for some reason this GIF is covering up this, but I um. I popped, I just copied and pasted this into the, to a notepad. Watch Wally and his colorful array of friendly neighbors learn about the vibrant world around them and take part in nonsensical fun. So there's nothing hidden there. But the first hidden thing that we can see on this page is actually this house here. So we're gonna have a look. There you are, welcome home, ha ha ha. Here we go. There you are, welcome home, ha ha ha. Okay. Well, that's brilliant. That's fantastic. So what shall we look at next? I think we should look at the media next. This wasn't here before, so this is all new stuff. Slowly but surely, we have begun to uncover media that confirms Welcome Home was once on the air. These remnants can be found below, including animation cells, radio plays, scripts, songs, and even interviews meant to publicize the show as it aired. One day, we hope to share footage derived from full episodes on this very page. We know it's out there. We will find it soon. Okay, so I guess we just go down and it, the, these, you can just go to a certain one if you want, but dated established 1969 to 1970. This audio appears to have been part of a live television interview, evidently shortly after Welcome Home began to air and was a subsequent critical darling. 
Though no video footage has been unearthed, we were lucky to recover audio from a significant chunk of the interview, featuring Wally Darling and Bonnie B. Beagle in conversation with the host. We invite you to listen to the charming dialogue, your dialogue yourself by clicking the player below. My God, my, I'm tongue-tied right now. I can't speak. That's wonderful. Oh, you sound like you have a lot going on in that neighborhood. And that, uh... Welcome home. Yes, yes. All oh, that beautiful world. Welcome home. Oh, since the show's really taken off, Wally, I'd say you're quite the popular character now. I am? You are. I am. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're quite a little charmer, too, from what I heard. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, well, thank um, you. Hey, that's what? exactly it. Is that why they call you Wally Darling? They call me Wally Darling because that's my name. <laughs> this guy sounds... Deranged, almost. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. You know, you're very beloved by a lot of different people now. Do you find yourself in any sort of romances lately, hmm? Romance? Yes. A love life? Being so popular at all. Oh, no. I don't know. I love everyone. I Just... love my friends. Oh. Yeah, this oh, well, guy that's sounds right. Deranged. You've got a lot of friends in that neighborhood. In fact, I think you said you brought one in for us to meet. Is that right? Yes, it's my best friend. He's my neighbor, too. His name is Barney B. Beagle. <laughs> hey, who, oh, what, oh, there we hello. Go. How are you doing, Rick? Barnaby B. Beagle. Mr. Beagle, a pleasure to have you here. Hey, enough with the formalities. Beagle is my mother's name. Just call me Barn. Oh, is that right? She was a dog, too? Oh, no, no. She's a chicken. You might have heard of her. She's a real famous lady. She crossed the road once. She crossed the road. What's going on? What for? To get to the other side. <laughs> They're still talking uh, about it to this No wonder this day. show was ripped from the air. <laughs> Well, oh, to this very day. Wally, you certainly live amongst a colorful array of characters. It's no wonder you've come into stardom recently. So how are you two handling the attention? I've been destined for show business since I was just a puppy. Guy sounds like, what's his name? John Mulaney a oh, little bit. a couple more eyes to the well-known comedian like me. As long as they're not throwing tomatoes at me, it sounds like a walk in the park. I tell you, we got a neighbor who's got an arm like a professional baseball player. So basically, well, because it's 1960s, it's quite like old schooly kind of radio sounding voices, which which is pretty cool Not to hear. Not easy. Oh, <laughs> well, I've ducked a few tomatoes in my own time. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a handful, Pond. What about you, Wally? What do you think of all this newfound fame? I think it's just the most. What? Oh, I'm sorry, but he just doesn't seem that charismatic to me here. He seems like a psycho. There's something wrong with something's wrong with him. Oh, there we go. That was that guy. So from just listening to that, um, when I was looking around here, I saw that th this is a clickable. So I'm just gonna have a look here. What is this? Delivery here. I've got delivery here for one Miss Partridge. Come okay, to be a dependable door to door to door delivery service. Oh, oh my feathers. Howdy, you frightened me. Terribly sorry, ma'am. Suppose I should have not. Oh, no, no. That would have frightened me too. Uh, oh, is that my order of yarn? Thank you. Okay, so this is it her sure hand. It is, Poppy. Hard off the shelves just the way you like it. Oh, it's them. Poppy. Boy. Looks like you already got a horde that'd make a dragon jealous. What you need even more yarn for? Not that I'll turn down a sale. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I'm just working on some scarves and sweaters and such. I want everyone in the neighborhood to have something warm to wear in when, you know, winter comes along. It feels like these changing seasons keep sneaking up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. Daylight to get everything done. 
course, it helps to have an extra pair of hands. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you know that already, though. I can see you've recruited an extra pair of your own today. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you again for your help, dear. And thank goodness for it. I was worried I was going to get all tangled up with all these colors of yarn. Hmm. I can see why. It's a real risk. It, it is? Well, sure. But lucky for you, I think I might have something to help. What's the... Oh, Behold! Ah! No, no, nothing to fear here. What you're oh. looking at is a bona fide yarn spinner. Perfect for keeping all your extra neatly spooled up. Safe, effective, and no pesky batteries or electricity to fret over. Oh, oh. well. Is that uh, coming from my headphones? Does sound helpful, doesn't it? Sure does. Yeah, tell that you what. droning sound. Today only, as an extra special deal for an extra special customer, you can give her a whirl. No strings attached. Well, no strings, but oh. the on that is. <laughs> 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 well, I've already overstayed my welcome. Got a whole shit What's happening? Back at the shop I've got a sign for. Oh, but I'll check in on you and your new wonder device next time right I bring then. you an order, Poppy. Oh. Till then. Oh, I don't know how to work these things, but well, he was so insistent it'd be helpful. Do you think you can help me figure this out? <laughs> oh, that sounds a little bit weird at the end. So what's that? That sounded like Barnaby. Was it Barnaby? Oh, hang on, what's this? What do you call a beagle with no ears? Nothing! He can't hear you anyway! <laughs> okay, brilliant. Howdy do, fellas! Care to let me share my wares? Oh, yeah, as you see. Okay, we're gonna move on now to this bit here, which is animation styles from Julie Julie Rella segment. Dates unknown, originally speculated, hang on, let me just do this. Originally speculated to part of a tie-in storybook, the amazing uncovering of actual animation cells caused us to realize the truth, that they were likely part of an animated segment for an actual episode of Welcome Home. These finds now hold the great honor of it, of if by technicality being the first on-screen footage our team has recovered. Surely there'd be something out there. Like, the fact that it's so hard to find just goes to show that there's something really messed up going on here. They really don't want you to see something. Something to do with the house, obviously. And the characters, I mean, Wally himself sounds like a drugged up lunatic. How was that man charismatic? Maybe it was different back then. I guess everyone was drugged up lunatics back then. Who knows? Based on what we have found, we imagine this segment to have been a silly retelling of Cinderella starring the various neighbors in the storybook roles. Above, we can see Julie joyful as Cinderella herself, Barnaby as the fairy dog mother, <laughs> Frank frankly as the prince, and of course King Sally Star Starlet. It's quite possible the entire animation was meant to represent one of Sally's stage plays, or perhaps it would have accompanied one of the neighbors reading the story aloud. So this is just so song demo. Below you can listen to what we suspect was an early scratch recording for a musical number that would have graced an episode of Welcome Home. Though we've not yet recovered the full, complete song or backing instrumental, this landmark discovery makes us confident it is out there to find. For now, enjoy this delightful number as Frank and his neighbors ponder his particular particularities. This is six minutes long. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's let's listen to one of these. Oh, where is it? <laughs> let's see now. Right over left, under and through, fold on this side, down, up and around, pass it through and pull. There. Right, whilst this is playing, I'm going to have a look. Okay, tie. Frank! Frank! Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Julie. Come on in. Frank, we're almost ready to start hula hoop bowling croquet! I'm just going to have a look around, I know, guys. Julie. So, wait. Bowling? You can't just mm -hmm. keep putting bowling in other games, Julie. Remember bowling basketball? I sure do. You got mad because Barnaby kept winning. Well, now I have to change. What? Why? Because okay. now I'm in the wrong else. bow tie. You're in your bowling dress. I can't show up in my croquet bow tie. Oh, does that really matter? Oh my of course God. it matters. Demons but coming out of them. Why? It just wouldn't be right. It's like, uh, well, take our games, for example. It wouldn't be fun if there weren't rules, right? Uh, 
It could be. No, no, no. Remember what happened when you tried playing hopscotch to the max? I do. It took us an hour to get you down off Howdy's roof, and we still don't know where the green chalk went. I still won? So you say. But it wasn't fun for me. Oh, that's true. You were pretty grumpy, even though you did help me get all the leaves out of my hair. See, I feel like there won't be any... There won't... I mean, there'll be little subtleties of demonicness, let's say, when they actually publish the lost media. But it's the ones that are secret that are the ones that are really strange. So you're not going to hear any really anything weird here. Exactly. I like it when there's rules. I, I like knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I like it when things are organized or done right. When things are so... When they're just... Uh, just... Just... Here we go. Sing. So... Yes! Just so! <laughs> <laughs> the way I tie my bow tie, just so. Oh! I know how to tie the loop around and exactly how to pull. I like the way you keep your garden all in rows. Yes! That way I always know where each plant will grow. I think I get it now. You just like everything neat and tidy and sure and careful and organized in a row. Like a bow, just so! Right, <laughs> sort of. So if you'll give me a moment, I can find the right bow tie, and... How is it they found the audio, but not the visuals to go with it? Hi, Molly, come on in! Hi, Julie. Hi, Frank. All right. Let me do something quick, guys. Whilst we're listening, we can go through this here. Well, I don't see why not. Oh, swell. Okay. It, is there <clears throat> something else, Wally? Molly. No. Oh, Wally! We were just talking about... Wally or Molly? Just so. Oh. Just so. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Mean? It's... It's like... Ties and books and game girls and gardens. Get it? No, but... I'd like to understand. Oh, not Wally you sounds too. so... It's just... Well... Think of a box of crayons. Okay. Oh. Okay, we found the something there. The colors go a certain way. Do they? They do after Frank steals the box when you're not looking. Julie! <laughs> Maybe you okay, should Julie. go get the game set up at home's front yard. So this is oh, Julie good, here? Yeah. I have to move the croquet hoops and tell Sally we're moving the opening ceremony. Frank's best friend. Uh, thank you, Julie. <laughs> Oops. You're not using hula hoops, are you? Bye, Frank! Julie, you know that's our regulation. <laughs> Bye, Julie. All right, I'm sorry, but Wally sounds like a pervert. I don't mind that you reorder my crayon. My that was... I'm sorry. This is meant to be a man who's like... What's his name? Freaking dude. Um, Mr. Rogers or whatever his name is. But he just sounds like he's been lobotomized. Why is he sad? He's meant to be this charismatic guy, but he just sounds like he's either someone's talking through him, quite literally like he's a puppet. Or like, you know, he's being reanimated or something. Why does he sound like this? Is, it's like a rainbow. Uh, like how the colors in a rainbow go. Oh. Richard of York like gave battle in vain. When red goes in front of the rest and the colors all stay inside the lines. When each and every hue from orange, yellow, green, and blue. And purple. <laughs> this is some kind of Kendrick Lamar song right. coming out of this. Sometimes things have an order that their context demands. And everybody loves the way I wear boots on my hands. Barnaby! Freaking plankton. Are you? It's not even raining. Why are you wearing those? Hey, croquet, the one where you ride horses? I'm the horse. I'm your horse. No, that's Paul. Oh, okay, he's, he's the jokester, oh, isn't he, Barnaby? Marco. Oh, why are you here? Came to get Wally. Hi, Barnaby. Hi, Wally. We're singing a song, Barnaby. 
Hey, I know one of those. No? When all you got is your fleas, and you're down on your knees, that's a dog's day. Okay, so we've been introduced and to a lot of four different characters here. There's Frank, Julie. Frank, Ju my God, Gizmo. What do you want from me? I want you to apologize to the people now, Gizmo. Apologize! Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, you got something to say there, man. Say it loud and proud with your chest, brother, man. Hey! Ain't that the way? Out! Aw, I wanted to learn the colors. I wanted to learn well, the colors. Well, I think you already know the colors. It's easy, guys. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Just think about it like that. I could hear them again. Yeah, Frank, which one's orange again? Am I orange? Out? Now I'll never know. Aren't you coming to play croquet with everyone? Not with I you. I would already be ready if everyone would leave me be so I could finish getting dressed. Now, don't take this the wrong way from the dogs who don't wear pants, but what's missing? My bow tie. <gasps> mm. Whoa! Don't look! He's indecent! Out! <laughs> Bye, Frank. <laughs> Howdy do! Howdy Billy here! Oh, no, how do you not now? Come in! Right, well, we just, we were introduced to most of the, like, so we, Julie, Wally, Frank, Barnaby, and who was that guy at the end? Oh, it's Howdy, as in, like, okay, he was the grocery guy. This is him. Howdy do, fellas! Care to let me share my wares? <laughs> Howdy do, fellas! Care to let me share my wares? Okay, so I think we went on to Wally, and then we clicked this, the, the painting here, and this is, this is what we got. You're the most. Ha, ha, ha. You're so still. What are you doing? He doesn't sound right. He's probably talking about a dead body there. Gizmo. Can't do anything with this cat. Hey! What? What are you doing? What? Well, okay, so we're learning that Wally sounds like he has been lobotomized. Hang on. That's the most. I don't even know what that means. Wally, you creep me out. I don't understand how people find you charismatic. Okay, we're going to keep going back down, guys. So most of this is just like media that they found, I guess. So I'm just looking at most clickables. It reminds me of Welcome to the Game, but the, the way of doing it is like holding Shift and Tab. But we've already done that for this bit, and I don't think there's any clickable stuff here. Okay, here we go. Date unknown, mystery audio. It is currently unknown whether these three recovered dialogues are audio tracks from episodes whose visuals are yet to be found or from another supplementary material such as a storybook record or radio play. Regardless, these three sweet scenes provide us a peek into the lives of our favorite neighbors. So this is Howdy, Barnaby, and Wally Hot Dogs. Howdy do, fellas. Howdy do, fellas. What can I get for you two today? Yeah, hey, it's hey. I think we're going to enjoy ourselves the usual. My usual for my usuals? Come on right up, pally. The usual? I thought we were getting hot dogs. Mate, I thought you that were meant to be fun. You sound like the very definition of not fun. Usual, little buddy. It means something you and me get See, I, I feel like Howdy is more charismatic. Like, they've made Wally out to be this amazing guy. But he just sounds mad. Like, so... Here we go. All the time. Kind of like a morning perusal. Oh, you mean our walk? Yeah, but I like perusal better. Makes me feel like a fancy high-class pooch. You like glazed boots? With some degrees, if you will. Oh. Alrighty, I got a bloodhound and a whirlwind of trouble and an old reliable dog. So, what's the gap today, Bon? Well, I got a good one that's been brewing in this bottom of mine all oh. day. <clears throat> I like Barnaby's voice. What and how do you howdies. call a caterpillar after a month-long nap? A butterfly. But if you ask me, I call the poor guy a doctor. 
Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. That's a hoot. A holly. That's man. a hoot. You always never disappoint. Hmm. Always Say, never Wally, disappoints. What about you? You got any silly yarns for me today? No, but I have a joke. <laughs> That's what we... <laughs> Wally. What did I tell you? He's a natural. <laughs> that was just a taste. Go on, kid. Okay. How does Barnaby eat his hot dog? I don't know. How? Warms himself up. He relishes it. <laughs> okay, I feel like I feel like they're really going out their way to make Wally feel special here. And I feel like Wally is he is the the kind of ring leader here. And maybe all these other characters know something's up and in order to kind of stay existing, let's say, they have to go along with what whatever Wally's doing. But you'd think that Wally would be a little bit more, I don't know, active in his voice. I mean, I'm very monotoned as a person, but... Uh, he sure does. Boy, y'all getting the hang of this funny business, Walls. It won't be long before you're the one paid for these hot dogs. That's okay. I like when Barnaby buys them. It's like I said, howdy. We're a couple of usuals who know what we like. Yeah, brilliant. Um, Julian Frank, tomatoes. Frank, Frank, Frank! Oh, Frank, won't you play a game with me? Oh, Julie, good morning. No, I, I can't right now. I'm watering my plants, see? Oh, see. I did see. Oh, I hear them too. Gee, they sure have a lot to say. Uh, what? My soul and Lyco? What, what are they saying to you? Oh, shush, shush. Hold on just a second, Frank. They're telling me right now. Okay, I gotta say, Julie, Julie, Barnaby, Howdy, they're, they're my favorites in terms of their voices. <laughs> Well, and Frank, your Frank. I mean, everyone except Wally. That's the thing, and I don't mean that in a very like critical way, in which like, oh, they could have got a better voice actor. I mean, it's done very specifically for for a reason to make you feel like, what the hell? What's wrong with this guy? You know, everyone else sounds great, but Wally just sounds like he's just done with life. You have a very lovely bow tie today. They do. I. <laughs> Thank you. What else are they saying? Well, they also think your marigolds could be a little merrier. But I wouldn't say that in front of your flowers. I'm sorry. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. They also had one last thing to say. They think that you've done such a good job gardening that you should go play jump rope with Julie to celebrate. <sighs> <laughs> oh, Julie, you were fibbing about the tomatoes telling me all that, yeah, weren't was. you? Killer. Oh, no, Killer Frank, Frank, I was telling the truth, honest. Your marigolds really are very, very rude. Okay, fair enough. It's a shame that, I mean, I get, I understand why the videos, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to break the fourth wall. It's a lot of work, you know, but I think as this show, like, this has became so popular. Like, I remember seeing a post from... Uh, the creator, Party Coffin, whatever their name is over on Twitter. And like within a couple of minutes, like the post had just been spammed with likes. Like so many people love this um, ARG. And I, I guess, you know, hard work does pay off guys. So always keep that in mind. All right, here's the last one then. This is Eddie, Sally and Poppy acting. Mail call. I got mail here for Miss Partridge. I'll be taking that. Uh, okay, uh, so that's, that's Eddie. Pardon me for asking, but... You're pardoned. Well, I could have sworn this was Poppy's bar. I might have made a wrong turn at that game of hopscotch outside of Julie's house. Those games always get me turned around. Of course this is her barn mailman. But she just so happens to have her feathers full at the moment. Mm. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello, dearie. I'm right here. At least, I, I think I am. Oh, goodness, it's hard to see past all this yarn. Yeah, she's got too much oh, yarn. Darling. What is she building? What she got you wearing? Can't you see she is a beautiful beanstalk? The 
perfect outfit for the star of my next play. Ah, I got you. Okay, yes, so this I is Sally speaking, and Sally's the one who who makes the neighbors perform in plays and stuff. Oh, it was a bit sprung on me. It is for it Jack and the main stock, obviously, but I have taken some artistic liberties, of course. Some I call what this liberties? Rendition. Wait for it. Sally and the Beanstalk. Oh boy. Uh, so. Sally and the Beanstalk is a little like that story about that fella who yeah. traded some cows for a couple of beans. The same beans. A couple of beans. That eventually grow into a giant beans. Got Arthur Morgan doing the voice so of Eddie. He decides to climb up. Yes. Climb? And then he runs into that big, mean old giant at the top. The very same who chases Jack all the way down to the bottom. Oh, yes, yes. Giant? And when Jack gets to the bottom, doesn't he cut down the beanstalk with a big axe? I feel like this is th this is their kind of way of peering in, you know, of like saying like something's not right here, and they're using the Jack and the beanstalk kind of um, metaphor or whatever to describe what's happening with them. Not necessarily that there's a giant, but that there's something menacing around. Yes, yes. Truly, as the one with the big axe instead. Big axe? <laughs> oh, Poppy, don't worry. After some rehearsals, you will feel as strong and as sturdy as the role you were born to play. Okay, so, so what, Poppy's just like one of these nervous wrecks? Is that what she is? Okay, here we go. There's something hidden here. Let me have a look at this quick. Hey! Hey, oh, I'm coming. Just be a sec. I'll be right there. Oh, Eddie. Oh, 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 good. Not alive. Oh, I really ought to look where my feet are going, huh? I love this oh, guy's hold voice. On, buddy. These are yours. I'd forgotten I'd had them to give them out to you. Thank the stars I hadn't dropped nothing fragile. <sighs> Shoo I ain't had no idea how late it gotten. I'm. Well, I'm tuckered after all this running around. It ain't even the first time I fell today. Ran into a few buildings on the way here, too. You know how Julie likes to do her drawing on the sidewalks and all? Well, she drew up a hopscotch on the curb this morning, and I just couldn't help myself. So this was part of what we were talking what was part of the other audio, but it's an adult well, of that. I had to just have a hop, skip, and a jump to start my day. I really am accident prone, I figure, because my face ended up meeting the pavement. <laughs> well, I may have been racket today and tossed around, but I'm still fair to middling, even after that bowling ball order. I suppose I don't got much more running left to do today, though, unless you got something for me to carry for you. Is there any leaded package or parcel you need me to run for you? Uh, wait, what are you looking around me for? Mailman! Uh -huh. You got any packages for little old me? My kazoo collection should have been in my mailbox today. Where is Barnaby. it? Barnaby. Uh, um, now, Barnaby, you know better. I have to put it in your mailbox. It's policy. You know a dog like me doesn't do policy, pal. The only policy I follow is the creed all dogs follow. Chase in your local mailman. Oh, no, I course. hate that policy. I'll beat you to your mailbox lickety split. If I don't split my lickety... <laughs> I was this close to dogpiling him. Next time, don't give Eddie any hints. Eh? Damn. I do like the voices. I gotta say, Eddie's probably my favorite voice out the lot. Okay, I think that was the only thing. That's the only thing on this page that's um, a secret. Apparently, these are the catchphrases of the guys. So, this is Wally. That's the most. I have no idea what that even means. What do you call a beagle with no ears? Nothing. He can't hear you anyways. Sting. Julie, how about we all play a game? I just thought of a new one. All we'll need is a pogo stick, a bowl of pasta, and a pair of roller skates. Frank. Frankly, I don't think there's anything wrong with being Frank. Eddie. I'll tell you, I fold my letters flatter than a frit fritter, and when it comes to friendship, I always deliver. Howdy. Howdy do, fellas. Care to let me share my words? Howdy do, fellas! Uh, Sally, celestial, astronomical, stupendously fantastical. So few words can capture the radiance of Sally Starlet. Poppy, oh my, I'm such a feather fingers. Squawk. Here we go, what's this? It's a duet. Hello? 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 
Hello. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus. I'm only kidding. I know you're there. Did you like my joke? What joke? Was that a joke? I think you were going to say yes. Ha, ha, ha. You know, it is hard to hear you think through this funny phone of mine. It is as though you aren't speaking at all. No, I mean, I am, but it's just... I don't know what to say. Maybe it is just a little fuzzy, like me. What does that mean? Speaking of... Do you know who I am? Yes. No. Well, that's not neighborly at all. We've never met before. Okay. But don't worry. Even though you and I haven't spoken before, I've seen you every time you have looked into my eyes. I want to know, what did you see? One of looks in your eyes? Looking void. I hope you saw a friend. God, no. But I'm not sure you saw a name. Stand still. Let's start over. Ring. 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 Click. I'm Wally. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I think you're the absolute most. Brilliant. I don't know what that means still, but... Uh-oh. I have to go now. That's the door. Everyone the, the, is the... probably thinking about that strange phone call. It is funny to think about. Ha, ha, ha. Don't worry, though, neighbor. It will be a little joke between you and me. I don't like you this. You have to go, too. You have work to do. E do I? Well, yeah, I guess. Remember, until you hear me again, keep your smile merry and always know that I love you. Very much. My God. Goodbye. This guy's grooming people. Okay, well, that wasn't fun. Oh, there's another one here. Hello! You're talking to the brightest and most stupendous superstar at this side of the neighborhood. Sally Starlet. Oh, okay, they're all, they're all something here. Okay. Well, let's... <clears throat> I said hello. That's your cue. Hello. What's wrong? Oh, do you have stage fright? I know, I know, having a star for a neighbor can be so intimidating. She's so terrific, you're probably thinking. Phenomenal, staggering, breathtaking, etc., etc. I'm taking the words right out of your mouth, I bet. Mmm, yes. Of course. Oh, well. Parting is such sweet sorrows. But I must shine my brilliance elsewhere. Why don't you call me back when you don't have such cold feet? <laughs> Farewell. Farewell. Hang on a sec. The audio for Wally Darling is experiencing a glitch and has been temporarily taken offline. Please be patient as we work to restore this as soon as we possibly can. Why did they take what? Yes, because he's freaking weird, dude. That's why. Anyway, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Um... Let's have a look through here. Merchandise. The tireless research of the Welcome Home restoration project has revealed an absolute pl plethora of merchandise created during the heyday of Welcome Home. From toys to books, rec records, greeting cards, all the way to your favorite breakfast cereal. There was truly no shortage of ways to bring your favorite neighbors into your own home. We've cataloged a few of our findings below and we'll continue to add more as new discoveries are uncovered and restored. Well, the thing about this though is that 
if it's so big, like like I said before, then why the hell is it so hard to find stuff? Like, they must have really gone out of their way to try and hide whatever the hell was this. It's for you, talking telephone toy. The official Marlowe talking telephone, ages two to five. You're just the most. Hear your favorite neighbors 16 built-in conversations. I only have a moment to spare. Pick up the phone for a great gaff kid. Do you want to hear about my new game? Dated 1971, manufactured by Marlow Inc. We are very lucky to have recovered this item packaging and all and restored the toy to original working order. Our research, <laughs> research, our research suggests it was an officially licensed toy from the Playfellow workshop that had partnered with a company called Marlow. The packaging suggests that many versions of these phones were sold, each themed to one of the neighbors. But as of writing, we have only been able to recover the Wally Darling themed phone. Click the button below to listen to the audio recovered from this delightful device. Okay, and then we've we've know this like Wally's has been taken offline, but Wally's is there for some reason. Here we go. Whether letter or parcel, whether rain, snow or shine, we weather the weather and never decline. This is Eddie. Weather the weather. Dear of Eddie's post office speaking. How can I help you today? Hello, Hello Eddie. Is anybody there? <laughs> you're gonna traumatize some kids like they feel like they're talking to their favorite person ever but they're just getting completely blanked the jingle again. okay <clears throat> where the letter or parcel where the rain snow or shine we weather the weather and never decline this is eddie dear of eddie's post office speaking do you need stamps i got them envelopes and paper you bet marcus crayons glue glitter tape staples <gasps> I got that too. I'm starting to think nobody's there. I'm starting to think nobody's Wait, there. I can't remember if the phone was ringing. Maybe I was going to make a phone call. But who would I call? Well, if you're there, um, have a good day. Brilliant. Thank you, Eddie. Let's move on. Oh. Hello? Barnaby. Hello? 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 Is this a prank call, kid? Listen, I got a better joke for you. Listen, I got a better joke. What did the bee say to the flower? I wouldn't know. I wasn't there. What okay. do I look like, a bee's dropper? Oh, good God. <laughs> So uh, awkward. Not even a chuckle. Boy, tough crowd. Hey, you can't blame a guy for phoning it in. <laughs> How about you call me back when you've got something funny to say too, little buddy? Bye bye. Wow. Bye bye. Why do they. Bye bye. Why do they make it so that, like, it's like no one's talking on the other end? That feels so odd that they would do that. I mean, if, uh, maybe it feels like these characters think that they're going to be talking to someone, but don't realize that they're part of some kind of merchandise or something. Like maybe these characters are, I don't know, real in a sense. We'll see. You're Con Howdy's place, the home of everything you need and everything you don't. Howdy Pillar, at your service. Hello? Okay. Hello? Hello? It's a phone guy. Listen, pal, time is jokes, and if I'm not laughing, then I don't have time. Actually, I do have plenty of time in stock. It's on aisle two next to the bananas, but I call them cuckoo clocks. <laughs> all right. right, all right. You're giving me nothing to work with, buddy. I only deal in funny business. And it looks like you're running low, pal. So long. Well, so so how do you... Wow, that's what a crap way of uh, living. He he, his stock runs on jokes, basically. I get like a caterpillar. <laughs> My God. All right, who's this? Julie. Hello. 
This is the partridge oh, nest. Poppy. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, this is Poppy. Hello? Dear? Are you there? I can't hear you if you're speaking. Why do they do that? That's so strange that they would do that. Maybe it is my connection. Oh, my feathers. A telephone can be so difficult to work with. So many buttons. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. I... Oh, no. I dropped the telephone on the ground. I... Gracious me, there's birdseed everywhere. Birdseed. I will call you back, whoever this is. Oh, my feathers are full at the moment. D don't worry about me. Ha have a pleasant day, dearie. I'm gonna witness a death with her. Oh my god. Who's this? Hello, this is Frank Frankly speaking. Hello, Frank. Hello. Are you there? Yep, I'm here. How's it going? Is this Julie? This had better not be another game you're playing. Oh no! Is this a prank call? Is this Barnaby? Well, I have a prank for you too, you jokester. A listen. <laughs> Did you know butterflies have their own way of sleeping? It's not so much sleeping as it is having a rest. It's always done with their eyes open, too. They also like to rest under leaves as a mean of protection from dew or raindrops. Better yet, to hide from larger creatures with an appetite. A bit like you and those horrible hot dogs you love so much. <laughs> well, whoever this is, I'll have you know I have better things to do than wait for you to respond. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, yes, traumatized some more kids. All right, we listen to this one, right? Hello. Hello. Is this Julie? What? Go what? Where? What? Hello? I don't know how to play this game. Yeah, this is, this is a little oh, bit weird. Oh, I know what to do. We'll make a new game. We'll oh, need stop recording. a jump rope, some chalk, a dice, a sandwich. I'll call it Quiet Sandwich Jump Rope. I better get everything ready. Frank's going to love this game. Okay, bye-bye. Right. So it's a telephone that when you ring the character, they think that you're ignoring them. I don't know if that's genius or if that's just going to ruin some some lives. Can I uh, zoom in on this? Here we go. Uh, what does it say? Wally Walls, you told me to tell when I get more something in stock. So here I am telling you, boy, you go through this stuff faster than some something through chalk. I would have called you myself, but I've ha had my hands full. I don't know what this says. Dear Wally Darling, how are you today? I hope you are doing well. I'm having a good day. I know you would risk... I know you would something if you were here. I have found a new insect today. You remember what an insect is, don't you? It's a beautiful arthrop arthropod. I drew you a picture of it. I thought out of everyone in this neighborhood, you would appreciate its extravagant colors. I had to write to you as soon as I had seen it and before it went on its way from Frank Frankly. Legs are big and soft, rounded and tapered towards the body. Okay, so rainbow letters, Eddie Deer playset. This array of brightly colored letters seems to be inspired by the equally as colorful neighbors of home, such as Howdy Pillar, Frank Frankly and Barnaby B. Beagle. These pieces are predicted to have been from an activity set based upon the efforts of the friendly and reliable mailman, Eddie Deer. It seems as though whoever enjoyed this place had a grand time pretending to mail letters to their favorite play fellow puppets. Eddie can lift a house, Eddie's Big Lift. Eddie's Big Lift storybook record, date unknown published by Marlow Records. A rare find indeed, we were able to recover not only the complete audio from this Welcome Home storybook record, but several illustrations speculated to have been part of either the record packaging or complimentary storybook. Listen below as a neighbourhood comes together to challenge the might of resident reliable mailman Eddie Deer. Okay, let's listen. I think this is the last page we're going to be looking at, guys. an 
idea, Julie. I'll give you that. But I just don't believe it's possible. No, it's true. I swear, I swear. Oh, what is it you two are making a ruckus over this time? Oh, hi, Frank. I thought you said you were going to spend another quiet morning organizing your bow ties. How could anyone effectively organize anything with you two talking so loudly at one another? Our most monstrously marvelous Juliet here insists that the local mailman is enough of a powerhouse to lift every single neighbor Interesting. in the neighborhood. Oh, Julie, not this again. It's true, it's true. Frank, you've seen it too. Now, Eddie is fairly capable, what with carrying all of his packages and such around, uh -huh. but... So you agree? I did not say, Julie, our neighborhood includes the likes of Barnaby and home. No one could... Eddie, lift yeah, home? Lift there's something underneath home, though. I That's the up. thing. Well, I simply can't accept such a boast without proof. Oh, I can prove it. Here. Here comes Eddie now. Watch this. What do you mean mayor you can prove? Paul, I've got mayor here for... Oh, no. I've got to love Eddie's voice. Ta-da! See? See? That's hardly convincing. Mm. Yes, I could probably yes. lift you if sufficiently motivated, Julie. And yet you never play throw Julie up in the air as hard as you can and see where she lands with me. We've well, that would be crazy. Well, I'm not convinced. Mailman! Center stage, oh, mailman! Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Up! Lift! Higher now, with Wait, your knees, oh, not your back, yes, but your knees. Oh, here All the we way go. up, All a little right. more, a little more, and just a little oh. more right there. Ta-da! Okay. That's what was that? Cool, I suppose. Sally. But I'm still not convinced. Frank next, Frank next! All right, then. Don't you dare. Wouldn't dream of. Hello, Wally and Barnaby. I want to hear him try and lift home. That'd be hilarious. Leave me well alone. What's all the commotion, fellows and fillets? Hi, Julie. Hi, Sally. Hey, Hi, Wally. Hi, Eddie. What are you? Okay, we go, little buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm up here now. <laughs> That's yes. Nothing. Yes, you Wally are. Wally weighs three apples, soaking wet. Here, watch. Mailman, put him down. Alrighty. I'm on the ground again. <laughs> and He's a very simple man, isn't now he? Now I'm up again. Life sure got its ups and downs, eh, Bell? Hey! Uh, but seriously, Jules, what's this new game of yours? It's not a game. I'm proving to Sally that Eddie can lift everyone in the neighborhood. Oh, why didn't you say so? Eddie, you should have started with me. Seeing as I'm such a tiny little pooch and all. This could genuinely uh, I mean, be its it own cartoon. That's the thing. A couple envelopes, huh? Picking up a little guy like me, it's hardly even worth showing off at this point. When you've already managed guys so much bigger. But might as well, just so you can say honestly, you've managed a full collection, right? <sighs> okay. No, I think you're okay. Yeah, yeah, here we go. No, okay. Yeah. All right, a little more. Yes! There we go. Oh, oh. Is that Barnaby? Oh, oh, now Barnaby's up there. Oh. Well, uh, well. on top of him. I don't even got a joke for this one. That was impressive, Ed. Uh, you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Just, just peachy Barnaby, thanks for asking. <laughs> well, I still say it's only just passable. I bet I can do it better. Barnaby, get over here. I bet I can lift you over oh my good head. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, this right. is going to go terrible. No, 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 no. I'm ending this right now. Ooh, let's go see if Eddie can lift Poppy and Howdy next. We can stay home for the big finish. Not if I can lift them first. Well, I know what I'm doing with the rest of my day. Come on, little buddy. Let's catch this show. Eddie's going to lift up home. Oh, God. That's the most. We can go to Howdy's together, and home can pick out his own hot dog. Y'all yeah, can go ahead. Uh, I'll catch you. All right, well, we know what's underneath home, though. That's the thing. You always did work too hard. Huh? I'm going inside. Enjoy the ground, Mr. Deer. All righty. Say, uh, before you go, any chance I can get hanging up? Oh, you're gone. That's fine. I'll uh, get to pick myself up. 
Or the cows come home. <laughs> Jeez. What the hell was that at the end? But it's interesting how he was, like, gonna lift up home. Because home, I guess, uh, if I remember correctly, is a... It was a... Considered to be another neighbour in itself. But we know from the last videos that we've done is that there's some kind of portal underneath home. And, um... I don't know, there's something dodgy going on there. I think home is probably the mastermind behind it all. And because Wally lives there... He's the one that's going to be affected the most, and that's why he sounds so strange and almost like someone's talking through him. This home has a direct influence on him. Maybe. I don't know. Currently unknown records, including Welcome Home, Drawing with Do Wally Darling, and The Fun in Your Frown, date established 1970 to 1972, published by Marlow Records. Get ready to laugh, draw, and sing with your favourite cast of puppets from the Welcome Home television programme through this collection of newly uncovered vinyl records. Although not entirely from the same catalogue, these records display an array of different music and activities that range from singing with Frank and Julie about the joys of frowning, to Wally's helpful guide to drawing and an array of other silly songs meant to keep viewers engaged with this delightful television show. Unfortunately, these records are heavily damaged and appear to have been poorly maintained, so efforts to recover the audio are still ongoing. Right, yeah, well, I mean, they weren't lying about that. Okay, we're going to move on to Crispy Sweets Rice Puff Cereal, date and manufacturer unknown. Currently, this delicious... Lee Sweet Tree is only known through the discovery of an advertising standee, which you can see restored above. One can only imagine the joy of seeing this charming standee in their own local supermarket. Surely beside a fully stocked shelf of crispy street sweets ready to take home. The search is ongoing to recover the original cereal packaging, so we might learn more about this neighborly part of a complete breakfast. So yeah, this was a little kind of thing that you'd see by the side of... Uh, an advertised like sponsored thing maybe uh, in, a, in a supermarket wally's coloring book date unknown published by marlow with the help of this beautiful booklet viewers could color along with wally darling right at home though we have only been able to restore one out of surely many illustrations including in the book the recovery of the complete cover including price and publisher information is an unexpectedly wonderful find that's pretty cool a little bob ross there drawing a golden apple I mean, let's be honest, Clown, if they wanted to, they probably yeah, could sell, could literally sell colouring books with all these characters, and they would probably sell like hotcakes. Uh, Mail in Time Day, Valentine's Day cards. Date es estimated 1971, manufacturer unknown. Love is in the air, or so they say, and nowhere in that more clear than this package. And nowhere is that more clear than this package of Welcome Home Valentine's Day cards. They appear to be promoting a made-up holiday as Mail-In Time Day. It's found on the back of all the cards, as well as on the packaging itself. This may have been a holiday displayed only on the show, perhaps associated with Eddie Deer. Wally and Barnaby are displayed on the yet-to-be-restored front of the package, wearing his uniform. Currently, lovely illustrations of Wally, Julie, Frank, Eddie, Sally and Howdy have been recovered from the set, found by the Welcome Home restoration team. I gotta say, like, straight away, guys, that this is all new to me. So, uh, what I'm experiencing right now is basically what you're experiencing. Maybe I'll do another video on any other finds that I find, perhaps. But for now, this is literally just me exploring for the first time of this website. I haven't looked at it previously, so here we go. Password, please. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, God. Code is five characters. Worksheet. Okay. Password. Capital letters, no. Underscores, no. Periods, no. Lowercase, no. No. Testing. Okay, welcome home. None of them work. Okay, well, this might be one of those things. Worksheet is five question key. It's a question that... What? Oh. Oh, no. Is that different? Is it going to be that, that for each? I mean, we could probably discover that in a new video. There's probably people that have already discovered it, to be fair. But we're just looking through this stuff, uh, the new stuff at the moment. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the last thing we look at, guys. And then maybe in the next video that we do, 
we can go through the passwords and stuff. Maybe Red the Reddit would have discovered it and we can, you know, discover them together. I'm not clever enough for stuff like that. It reminds me of that FNAF book that was released and you had to kind of put certain words together to make up a name and stuff. And I don't know, I'm not very good with that stuff. I'm very slow, that's for sure. But yes, this is the Playfo uh, Playfellow Exhibition. Our goal at the Welcome Home Restoration Project has always been to explore Welcome Home's disappearance, to catalogue what few fragments we could find, and to seek out others who could have seen the show for themselves. It has been difficult to produce evidence of its, of its existence, which is insane. Like I've said, that is insane. If it's it was so popular, what, and people just forget about it? There were times where we were unsure if this website was even accomplishing what it was made for and if, if it was worth keeping up at all. However, this doubt was quickly silenced when we co were contacted by a successful museum curator by the name of Question Answerer. Through this co collaboration, we were allowed the privilege to go public with our findings and to share the sentiment of Welcome Home with as many eyes and hearts as possible with the Playfellow exhibition. For their safety, they have agreed to this title and to a face of anonymity as we have. The introduction to the exhibition was as follows. Critically praised and financially successful, Welcome Home dominated its Saturday morning time slot with its colourful cast of puppets, entertaining and addictive stories and lively sets unlike anything seen before. Created and produced by the Playfellow Workshop, Welcome Home is believed to have had a four-year run from October 11th, 1969 until its abrupt pull from television sometime in 1974. In this time, since, all footage and merchandise of the entertainment powerhouse has been presumed lost. In recent years, however, the small collective at the Welcome Home Restoration Project have been able to compile, restore and archive what few remnants of Welcome Home have been uncovered. Through their efforts, the team hopes to awaken the memory of this lost piece of media. We at Questions Answered, curatorial services are honored to be able to showcase the WHRP's findings and to help further their goals restore and rediscover the world of Welcome Home. Below are photographs of the space. Okay, so all of these pictures are basically what they have found and what we've already gone through, but it's just them basically, um, it's in a physical space now in a museum. So we've tend, I mean, you guys can go onto the website here and look through it yourself. There might be some things hidden here, but we've basically seen most of these things already. Uh, this is just like the museum version of that. Wally there looks fine. Looks he looks great, like a like a Muppet character. But then he just there's something strange about him. The question answerer has taken care of, care in preserving these findings and ha helping to reproduce what couldn't be properly presented. They have also helped us to restore what was assumed to be completely destroyed vinyl records and the It's for You Marlowe brand talking telephone. We asked the question answerer what drew them into our search for this lost media. They responded, it seems like everything these days is already neatly catalogued and answered down to the finest details. You can find a book or a website or what have you to answer any old question that might cross your mind, but Welcome Home was different. The more I looked at it, the more questions there were, and not an answer in sight. It was like a puzzle box that had never been opened before, just begging to be investigated. How could I possibly resist a mystery like that? Especially in such a charming, colourful package. It was like a calling a calling I just had to answer. Additionally, we asked how they enjoyed the experience when it ended. What could possibly compare? Holding all these puzzle pieces in your hands, looking into Wally Darling's sweet eyes, hearing that little toy phone ring for the first time since the 70s. There's truly nothing like it. I still have so many questions to answer here in the world of Welcome Home. So much work left to do. If it was a calling that brought me here, well, then that phone is still a ringing. Although we were unsuccessful in finding strangers familiar with the show, we considered this exhibition a monumental success for allowing individuals both young and old alike to experience Welcome Home for themselves. So I remember when we were, when we did a video on this, there was talk on them doing a museum thing. So what we just saw there was that exhibition basically. A big boisterous thank you to those of you who came to visit this lovely home. Here is hoping we can do this again, neighbor. We hope we will see you there. Don't forget to wave up high. Okay, what's this? This might be the last last thing here, guys. Although the guest book might have something new. Do you like home? Home is my house. Do Can you hear the heartbeat? Have a home too? Do you hear it too? You can hear mine. God, home is alive. That's got a free, that's a heartbeat right there. 
But yeah, if you guys want to go check out the Playfellow exit. Oh, it's closed. Why is it closed? What's this? I can't hear you. Do you know who I am? We've looked into each other's eyes so many times. You're looking at me now. I don't think I am. It's like a vinyl record. What's this? Answer. Which is why the pie charts must be Breen Berry. Mr. Deer, write that down. Breen Berry. Uh, uh, you, you know Julie. Uh uh. President Joyful. Right, right, right. Pre President Joyful. I, I don't think Breen Berry's a real berry. I mean, shoot, what color even is Breen? That's classified, Breen. Mr. Deer. That's why they pay me the big shamulas. The what now? Okay. I ain't getting paid. The fact that these are called answers suggests to me that whatever's in this is the password. Anything. Little. Breen is going to be what the password to. Oh, sh shamus, dear. Sh 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 what What would you say again? President Joyful. Shamulas, doubloons, smolians, dinner rows. Can't you see what this company is all about, Mr. Deer? Uh, Breen? No, it's Breen. about pie charts, big buildings, hot cakes, small stuffed bears, chalk and houses. I don't think any of those things go together, quite frankly. It's about big suits and big hair and big voices. Mr. Deer, are you not confident in our business model? You have good shoulders under your head, Mr. Deer. I would hate to see you canned. Can me? Canned? But, but you can't fire me. It's my first day on the job. Then you'd better straighten up and fly down, Mr. Deer, because the most important part of running a business is... <clears throat> uh -oh. Hello, President Joyful of Everything Incorporated. What? Mr. Billy Nilly, no! We've... We're broke. They've eaten all our office supplies. Even the staplers. Well, that one quick, jeez. This was all I had. Where the letter or parcel, where the rain, snow, up, up, I mean, joyful residents, who may I ask is calling. Oh, Barn, good to hear from you. Yeah, we're playing business or something or other. Yeah, but I'd say we're fresh at it. Whatever we're supposed to be selling. I think this time it was Breen. Oh, yeah, he's right here. Phone call for you, Wally. Wally? Wally was there. Okay, so there's there are, there's been multiple of those where the thing says answer. All right, I'll tell you what, guys. What we'll do, because we're, well, I've looked at this. I've been recording for nearly an hour and a half now. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave some of this for an, uh, another video, and hopefully we can figure out the passwords as well. And maybe, oh, good Lord, there's another answer thing here. You know what? But we'll, 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 we'll figure that out as it goes along this is ridiculous you get there's there's so much to this and um obviously it's racking my brain because a lot's happening i guess and i i want to be want to know what the hell is happening and obviously there's all these bits and pieces going on and it gets a little bit confusing after a while but yeah there we go guys i hope you did enjoy this video you guys should go check out the website for yourself clownillustration.com forward slash welcome home i think it is You'll, you'll have seen it at the top of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why don't leave a like, rate, and subscribe as we're going to actually explore this a little bit better next time. This was just my kind of grazing over what was new. Um, but yeah, if you guys spot anything, if you guys want me to check anything out in particular, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.